So hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. Now, I normally don't do microphone reviews on this channel because frankly, I am not an audio expert. I am not a microphone expert. I just have been doing this for a while whenever it comes to streaming and making content. And I think I can tell whenever a microphone sounds good compared to something else. Um, you know, my very first microphone that I got that was a studio level microphone was a newer NW700. That thing was great rate for about a week then i got a behringer um, dynamic microphone called the xm8500 and that is when my love for high quality microphones really started then after that i moved on to the rode pod mic then i had a blue spark sl blackout and then i picked up this of course the big daddy of them all the sure sm7b and I love this microphone. This is the microphone that I that I you know use it for everything. I use it for streaming, podcasting, uh, voiceover work. Uh, I I use it for you know making content like this here. And it's an amazing you know one and done mi microphone. That is it. And um, I tend to lean toward dynamic microphones because I have a window air conditioner in the background there that sometimes can be picked up. Now, I'm actually not running any sort of noise suppression on this recording, so I'm not using my NVIDIA RTX voice, and I'm not using the, what is it, the built-in noise suppression here in uh, OBS Studio, that RN noise, I'm not even using that. Now, there is an EQ on this microphone. Um, of course, it has some compression and everything like that as well, too. But what I'm gonna do is I, I literally made a brand new profile for this new microphone I picked up. I'm gonna show you all here in a second, and I'm gonna switch to that right now. It's a new profile here, my GoXLR software, so it's gonna actually take this EQ to SM7B and make it completely flat, okay? All right, and as you can see here, folks, everything is nice and flat now. I'm going to go in and save this uh, profile. There we go. Now, uh, as far as the, the compressor goes and my noise gate settings, those are the exact same. But as far as the EQ goes, here, I'll show you here, okay, guys and gals? As far as the EQ goes, the EQ itself is 100% flat. So whenever you take out an SM7B from the box, this is exactly what it would sound like, okay? And I wanted to give you this uh, here as a palette cleanser for what I'm about to show you for the neat King B2. Guys and gals, I have been wanting to try out this microphone since I first heard about it a few months or so ago. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful mic. It really is the build quality. I'm pretty sure you could run this thing over with a tank and it would damage the tank, not the microphone. Um, it comes with an included pop filter as well, and I cannot stress to you how heavy this microphone is. I believe it weighs in at about two and a half pounds. So I actually had to go get a different microphone arm because my Elgato mic arm here, as much as I love this thing, it will not be able to hold this chunky boy. You know what I mean? So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, you know, stop the video here. I'm going to swap everything over and then I'm going to have this thing plugged in and we'll compare it here. Okay. All right, everybody. Look, first and foremost, I want to just say that I have done some test recordings of this here behind the scenes and I love the way this thing sounds. I think it's a perfectly balanced microphone I think it has a really nice sounding low end the presence boost it has sounds very natural it doesn't sound too bright and this is the very first microphone that I've ever used that I don't feel a need to go in and actually remove some of the mid-range that even I have to do with my SM7B like this microphone out of the box I think Neat absolutely nailed it. Now you're going to hear a lot more background noise with the condenser microphone. That's why I always use a dynamic microphone in my setup because of my window air conditioner and I have some pets around the house, you know, and I don't want that stuff to be picked up on stream too easily. And here's the thing, you can always go in and use some sort of like, you know, use some kind of noise suppression if you want to. But the way I see it is that sometimes noise suppression in real time, it, it, it sort of kind of can cause more harm than good it, like it, it, can, it can cause some popping and you know in in post and it can sometimes just make your voice sound really 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 weird 
that's why a lot of the times whenever you see people using a condenser microphone especially a large diaphragm condenser microphone like this one here they're always in more of a treated room or it's a very quiet room to where they don't have a lot of ambient noise really bleeding in to their space you know what i mean so again this is not an actual formal review by any means i essentially made this video for me to see if i want to keep this microphone and use it on on my you know day-to-day -day use here and on streaming and uh personally i just don't think it's for me because of, you know, again, I have a lot of background noise and I personally do not like to use noise suppression because as, as I said a second ago, in post, I've noticed it can cause a lot more problems than, you know, what it can fix, you know what I mean? But as far as the way the microphone sounds, it sounds absolutely wonderful. It really, really does. And keep in mind here, there is no like, you know, high pass filter built into the microphone. But what I can do essentially here, folks, is I can essentially simulate one of those here in my Go XLR software by taking a couple of the low end frequencies like 31 hertz and 63 hertz, and I can actually bring those down to where they really won't be picked up inside of the microphone. Okay, so I'm gonna go and do that right now. I'm gonna go and just drag these down to negative nine. And now, hopefully, you really shouldn't notice that big of a difference in my speaking voice, but any sort of like low end rumbles that you might have heard from the air conditioner, they should have been sort of kind of, you know, uh, they should have been kind of hidden a little bit better because I'm telling the microphone, hey, you know, you're going to pick up the noise, obviously, because it's very loud, but those frequencies the air conditioner is putting out, try not to pick those up that much, okay? So. But again, this is the way this microphone sounds. Uh, I, like, like I, I, I truly cannot say enough good things about it. I think it sounds absolutely wonderful. And I always keep my microphones kind of close to me because I really like that proximity effect. You know what I mean? But I'm going to put it back here a little bit. Like right around here is where you would normally put a condenser microphone, like, you know, four to five inches away from your mouth. And I think this here is probably where somebody would normally put it, especially if you were inside of a booth. And and even from back here, I, I think it still sounds nice and warm. It doesn't sound too bright, but but the high end is tuned just right. Like neat for real, y'all. I, I don't know how you are able to make a microphone of this caliber for the price point that you're doing it at but consider me very very impressed so to round it up do i recommend this microphone if you have a quieter space for it or especially if you're not like me and don't have a window unit in the background then yes i highly recommend it i think it sounds absolutely fantastic I, I mean, this was $150 on sale whenever I picked it up, everybody. Like, that type of quality for this amount of money, it is absolutely insane. Just as I always say, whenever you're going for a full XLR studio setup, make sure you have a decent preamp, make sure you have a decent interface and you'll be set to go from there and you know you might be asking yourself well terry wait a minute why didn't you just you know for this first look and everything why didn't you turn off your air conditioner and i'll tell you why okay the reason why i didn't turn off my air conditioner is for a simple reason and that is that i believe that your average streamer your average content creator they are especially if like if like they're up and coming new you know they are not going to have soundproofed walls they're not going to have a perfect environment to record and stuff in and frankly sometimes people don't do their research i mean to put it bluntly here like they might not know the difference between a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone so they just might see this and say hey this has got really really good reviews it's a wonderful price i'm gonna go ahead and pick it up so i sort of kind of wanted to simulate what this would sound like in your everyday style apartment bedroom whatever so that's why i, I have my ceiling fan going and i have my uh blower going on my air conditioner there in in the window okay so i know that testing methodology might be kind of a little bit unorthodox and i and, and i do apologize but again hopefully that that might answer that in case anybody out there was wanting to know okay so with all that being said again five stars from me this thing is absolutely wonderful it is a beast it, it it's built like guys for real i cannot stress to you how heavy this microphone actually is like th like this this new arm of mine here it's supposed to be able to hold a microphone of nearly four and a half pounds this thing is around 2.4 2.5 pounds and it's it, it like like it, it it's making this thing sag you know what i mean so but 
everybody again for real thank you so much for coming by again i know that i'm not an expert on on this stuff but i hope you can view this as more of like your uh your everyday microphone user if that makes sense so hopefully this here might help somebody make an informed decision out there for what kind of microphone they want to get and uh yeah again big recommendation check it out i'll have an affiliate link down below and thanks for watching catch you guys and gals next time